hello hello again we have a laptop here yeah this laptop is coming on but we're not having a display yeah it's a hp laptop 40g3 yeah the leds for the sound and the wi-fi it's they are on and also the power button i don't know whether you're able to see that but we are not having a display so i don't know whether you're able yeah you can see the power button light is on sound and wi-fi it's also on but we are not going to have a display maybe i'll have to take off the back cover so that i can show you this i can show you the exact thing i'm saying here or the exact thing i'm seeing so just a minute Yeah, what could be the issue? Yeah, these laptops are are known to have these issues of having the fan spinning, the some lights are on, but you're not having a display, the caps are blinking, there are some beeping sounds, it's still not having a display. It's very common with the 840, the G series of the HP, the 840, the H20, 840G3, 840G2, 820G1, 820G2. And so let me put it on and try to show you. Yeah, the power button light is on and the machine is on. As you can, you can see the backlit keyboard is now on. You can see the backlits, the, the light on the keyboard. And also, you can see the light on the SSD, the M.2 SSD storage. Let me put some shade so that you can see. Let me use my hand. You can see that blue light there. It's an indication that we are having power on the motherboard. The fan is spinning also. But we are not going to have a display. We are not going to have a display. So what could be the issue, guys? Yeah, several factors could cause this. Uh, we could be having an issue with the RAM. We could be having an issue with the BIOS. We could be having an issue with some components on the motherboard which are not okay. A short circuit. Anything is possible. The display connector could be having an issue. But let's take out the battery so that we can we can check few things here and there. We don't need the battery as we are diagnosing the laptop because we are having the power supply and the charger. So let me label these RAMs. I, I always like to label those RAMs so that I may not confuse them with, with another client's RAMs. Yeah, he could be working on this laptop and all of a sudden so another laptop is there here on the table and you want to have a quick look at it. And you may end up mixing the two RAMs. And now you don't know which belong to which laptop. So it's always good to have a label on that uh, RAM module. And so I'm trying to, to disconnect the, the RTC battery here. And the RAM is there. It's okay. So let me also take the Wi-Fi card out, the SSD. That's the storage, the Wi-Fi card. I think, let me also take it out. Yeah, it's always good to, to take off uh, as many components as you can from the motherboard because you don't know what is causing the problem. I've had, I've had, case, I've had cases where you just disconnect one component from the motherboard and the laptop is coming on again. So you don't know what is causing that problem. So try to desolder all the components from the motherboard so that you can have an independent motherboard. So if you're still having an issue, you'll know now the issue is only on the motherboard and not on any other component on it. So let me... We are going to try and, and remove the motherboard and 
try to check where the issue could be So let's take off the screws and take out the motherboard. Yeah, right now things will be a bit hard guys when it comes to, to laptops and technologies. Yeah, chips are not very sufficient in China. Yeah, we already having that issue there. The microchips, the components that are used to make laptops. So if you are there thinking that the laptops are going to get any cheaper, they are not going to get any cheaper. So it's good to take care of the laptop you are having. Because nowadays it's not like before when resources were not scarce. Yeah. Also in the car industry, guys, you can see now they are not having the, the metallic body. They are trying to come up with some carbon fiber because the resources are getting very, very diminished. We are not having a lot of resources in the, in the world generally. So laptops are not going to get any cheap and the repairs are are going to be the order of the day now because if you cannot afford a new laptop you'll have to make the one you are having i don't know whether you're able to tell from your end the new laptops the new brand of laptops that are being manufactured are not as durable as the one which were there before there's this need to make the laptop very small and very slender, very, very portable. And now, as a result, you are having to make chip that is having two to three, two to three components in it. We are having a chip that is a MOSFET, that is a power regulator, that is a, there's a, like two chips or three chips in one chip. You see? And now there, 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 there's going to be a to, to to be a problem when the when all these things are being combined together because of the overheating. So the components are being compressed together on one area to make the laptop very small and very slender and very portable. And overheating issue is coming out. It is having a problem overheating, and with time the laptop is not durable. The ancient laptops were a bit big, yeah. They were a bit heavy. But there's something else I want you to know that they were big and so the components had sufficient space and sufficient. If they, we, we, if you had a MOSFET, if you had a MOSFET, it was a MOSFET, not a MOSFET and a transistor and a something else inside and a driver and a driver chip. And those laptops were durable. They are, they, they, maybe they were not fast as we are having the, the new ones. They were not as small, as slender, as smart. But they were a bit durable. This is the same case with the cars. The cars that were a bit old, they were durable than the cars that are coming nowadays. And they had few problems than the car that they are being manufactured right now. So, guys, let's come back to, to our motherboard here. Let's have it under the microscope. Let's have physical inspection. Uh, is there anything obvious? It's always good to have a physical inspection on the motherboard. Yeah, the RAMs looks uh, something something is not okay here. It looks like liquid damage or some damp. There's some dampness on that RAM slot. I don't know what this is. And there's no disordered pin, but I think there's some dirt inside there. The other areas look just fine. They look mint condition to me. They are mint. Factory made. But this area here is not very nice. 
I don't know what could be the issue here. So we'll have to clean this area here. Maybe try to to resolve the the pins there so that we are sure that voltage is is operating as it's supposed to be. So let's put some alcohol. Let's have some cleanup here. Uh, let's go for screen connector. Let's see whether the screen connector is damaged. It looks nice to me. Uh, let me try to do some more cleanup here. Yeah, try to make sure you do a very good cleaning because this could be the issue. This could this could be the reason as to why the laptop is not coming on. So make sure you do a thorough cleanup. Okay. So let me check on other areas. Okay, I think the RAM is clean now, the RAM port. Okay. So let me check the RAMs now, the RAM, the RAM sticks. Yeah, we have cleaned the RAM slot. Now let's check the sticks, the RAM sticks where are there, which are inserted in the RAM slot, so they could be having an issue also. It's also good to clean them very, very thoroughly. Yeah, the reason behind this is because the, the voltage that goes through this RAM is too literal, and any literal interruption could, could, could stop the voltage from working or from passing through the RAM. Uh, the PC4 RAM, I think, is taking around 1.2 volts. Uh, PC3, they are taking around 1.5 or 1.8. The PC2 are taking around, I think, 3 volts or something like that. So, as you can see, the volt is too small. And so, any interruption from any kind of that will render your laptop not working. So, make sure you have cleaned those RAMs properly. They are very clean. Also, the slots, make sure they are clean. Make sure all the pins are okay. I don't think we are having a, yeah, we have a debris there. I don't know what that is. So let me try to brush it off. Yes, guys, such little component could be the issue. Don't leave, those little components could be the issue. And this is why it is important to have a microscope because the component you are seeing there like a, a, a small particle. Bear, with your bare eyes, you cannot see it. I can see some, I can see the, the RAM is not working. So let me try to put some hot air there and some flux, just a little bit to, to reflow. To reflow the solder. Yeah, so let's try to see whether we have managed. So guys, as I told you, you can see now the SSD is reading. You can see the laptop is on now. And that tells you what our RAM was the issue here. You 
the ram slots were the issue as we saw that damp area there also the rams were not very clean from from a point of reasoning and that's what was preventing the laptop from from working maybe also the bios chip i saw some little dirt there and i had to refill the solder but uh i think that is the main issue so let me assemble the laptop and test it again yeah keyboard on backlit keyboard is on yeah the laptop is working the laptop is working the laptop is okay yeah when we were growing up they used to tell us cleanliness is secondly to godliness so <laughs> i've seen this concept also working on devices if your laptop is dirty <laughs> it's going to frustrate you so make sure you take your laptop to shower he is some once in a month or twice in a month it depends where, with where you are living if you are in a dusty area please take your laptop for servicing frequently unlike the people who are living in places where there is no dust eh? we all know this is africa and the dust is the order of the day so make sure you are taking taking your laptop for checkups like the servicing you have the motherboard clean up the fans are wiped up the blowing and the thermal paste being changed the discharge discharging of the electrostatics from your motherboard that's also another issue so take care of your laptop or if you don't it's going to cost you service is not so much of an of an amount to to keep postponing but when your laptop is dead it's going to cost you a lot of money so i would prefer you even you'd rather consider taking it to a service so that you can have a your laptop can serve you for longer periods of time and so that this is it the laptop is okay uh, i'm having another another laptop here somebody is telling me there's a problem with sound so i'll have to finish up with this one first yeah cleanliness is very important even to your car to your laptop to you you yourself as an individual try to be clean <laughs> okay i don't know whether i'm i'm trying to, to anyway so that's all so that's all guys please support us through subscribing also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time we upload a video and like and let us know what you think in the comment section give us your comment there let's let's know what you think about anything about anything about this channel yeah and thank you guys that's all for today let's meet in the next yeah as i try to to help another client here who have just arrived with two laptops so that's all guy bye